IT Expo Tech Super Show in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, on our show is Eric and I with uh, SkySwitch. And Eric, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great, Rich. Thanks. How are you? Good, thanks. So tell us a little bit about SkySwitch for those people who may not know. Sure, so SkySwitch is a channel-only white-label UCAS provider, which what that really means is that our partners are able to take our UCAS platform and sell it and brand it and bill their customers under their own name. Uh, so we're behind the scenes making sure that the platform is, is running and it's geodiverse, so it's always available. Uh, but it's really, uh, our job is to help our customers be successful selling UCAS to their customer base. And there are a lot of benefits for an MSP to own the relationship. You want to go into some of those? Uh, absolutely. Sure. Well, you know, typically the way MSPs have approached the market uh, has been to, well, you know, they have customers and a lot of times the customers will say, well, you know, we've heard about Cloud Voice. We want to get into Cloud Voice. What do you suggest? And many M MSPs uh, end up being agents for some of the larger national players. And that can be good because you know you give, give the customer what they're looking for, which is a, a more feature-rich, uh, you know, a platform that does is not immediately obsoleted. Um, the downside, of course, is that that MSP ends up losing that relationship with the customer because once they hand them over to another brand, they, they lose that opportunity for monthly recurring revenue. Uh, so in our model, the, the MSP gets to continue being the uh, trusted advisor for their customers, uh, and but they're also able to brand their own voice, business voice solution uh, and maintain that relationship and keep the customer. It's really exciting and so not only do they make more money, they keep the relationship, but um, talk about what happens to the MSP at the time of resale when they own those relationships, or not resale, but acquisition. Oh, of course, so uh, of course everybody's interested in uh, their exit for their business and uh, their, in, today MSPs are being rolled up by uh, larger MSPs and other types of investors. And of course, the way you, you get value for your company is based on primarily on your revenue. And so if you're simply an agent collecting uh, you know, commissions from another company, that counts less towards your value as, uh, as uh, you know, um, if you, uh, as compared to owning the customer and having a contract that says you're going to co uh, collect a certain amount of uh, monthly recurring revenue, month in and month out for X number of years. So basically you get a higher multiple on that revenue that's white labeled as you might, as an agent, as you might get on an on agent revenue. A absolutely, uh, in, in terms of valuations, the multiples for owning the customer and having that contract uh, are much higher. Yeah, I've seen, um, seen some significant increases in those numbers. So tell me, uh, you guys, uh, I've had a chance to write about some of the news this week. You've, you've been really a flurry of activity. I think three pieces of news at least this week. You want to talk about that? Absolutely. Well, uh, we try and use this event as a springboard to, to announce new things. And uh, uh, the first uh, that we're really excited about is our appointment reminder app. So uh, a lot of our customer base sells to service type companies, doctor's offices, uh, uh, you know, personal health care, uh, automotive services, things where the end customer uh, has an appointment. And uh, so what our new feature allows us to do is it allows our resellers to sell appointment reminder services as an adjunct or an add-on to their business voice services. Uh, and it, and uh, our, our uh, platform ties in nicely with uh, all the CRMs. So uh, if you create an appointment and, and you can get that CRM to push it to us, uh, we'll automatically create the reminder. And uh, the reminders can either be telephone calls or SMS messages or both, uh, you know, it's really up to the end user how they want to, uh, to uh, configure it. So uh, we're, we're really very happy. It's, it's actually been the number one requested feature uh, related to SMS on our platform for the past couple of years. Uh, so it's it's uh, we've been working on it and it, it's uh, we're happy to announce it here. So congratulations! I mean, there's been a race to zero in voice. At least that's what the, some people complain about that it's so competitive and people undercut each other's prices. And so you can actually give your MSPs, you arm them with the ability to add revenue as opposed to dropping, re and they can go in with less a less expensive solution, but then quickly add on, add on, add on. Right? Yeah. Well, it, it, you're you're absolutely right. Uh, it's it's all about features and because there are so many providers out there fighting for the same customers, uh, you really have to do something to stand apart from your competitor. So of course, price is one way you can, you can differentiate yourself, but having features that uh, a vanilla voice provider doesn't have is, a, is another way. So whether you add that feature in and you're able to maintain uh, a higher uh, price per customer, um, 
or you sell it as an add-on feature uh, to the customer. Either way, you end up with uh, you know, more satisfied customers that are stickier uh, and higher revenue. Awesome, and then uh, you also have a, a new group, a new association, you want to talk about that? Oh yeah, uh, so, so um, uh, we are the uh, charter sponsor for the Cloud Voice Alliance. And really, uh, the CVA, as we call it, is an organization that's designed to help the smaller telecom resellers have a voice in the industry. Uh, because today there are organizations, but they're really geared more towards the larger nationwide providers. There's really no one out there that helps the, the, the little guy who is emblematic of our, our customer base. Um, so, I like to explain it as an outsourced marketing department for a smaller MSP. A lot of MSPs are two, four people organizations and they just don't have dedicated marketing people. So when they need to get that marketing material or the email blast or anything done, it, it's really you know, something that's not typically in their wheelhouse. So CVA is an organization that uh, any telecom reseller can join and they can take advantage of uh, shared resources to get these types of marketing things done. That's great, what's next for the company? Well, uh, it's, it's all about finding more ways for our customers to, to be successful in the market. Um, so we're expanding, uh, we're planning to expand into, into Canada uh, and perhaps some other countries, but really it's about just uh, de delivering the tools to our customer base that let them differentiate themselves and be successful. How do people find you? Uh, well, uh, www.skyswitch.com uh, or just Google Unified Communications as a Service. Fantastic, thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you, Rich.